In this video, I want to introduce you to what we mean by a tree. So the formal definition of a tree is a simply connected graph with the minimum number of arcs. Okay, now what does that mean? Let's break those definitions down because we know what we mean by simple, a simple graph. So a simple graph is a graph with no repeated edges or multiple edges and no loops. Okay, so we can't have multiple edges, we can't have any loops. It is connected, so there is a path from every vertex to every other vertex in the graph. And it needs to have the minimum number of arcs. Okay, now essentially what that means is that if I've got three vertices here, then first of all, um, I can't have something like that. So that's not a tree because it's got a multiple edges. Okay, so because we've got these multiple edges, it's not simple. So let's remove that. If one of the vertices had a loop, well, we can't have that either because a simple graph cannot have a loop. Okay, so we can't have that. We also can't have this either because this graph is not connected. It is disconnected and a tree has to be connected. Okay. And the other thing that we must consider is that if I joined up those two, okay, this is connected. It is simple. But it is not a tree, because a tree requires us to use the minimum number of arcs available in order to join those three points up. We don't need an arc going from this vertex straight to this vertex, because there is a path from this vertex to the other one. It just goes this way. Okay, So that is a tree, and it is joining those three points with the minimum number of arcs available. So let's draw some more trees, okay? So let's say we've got four vertices. Here is an example of a tree with four vertices, okay? Uh, let's say I've got, uh, let's say I've got five, let's have six, uh, let's have seven vertices. Here you go. So here is another example of a tree. Okay, so each is a connected graph. It is simple. There are no multiple edges. There are no loops. And I've used the minimum number of edges in order to connect all of the uh, vertices. Okay, the moment that I add in this edge here, what that forms is what's referred to as a cycle. So the fact that you can go round in a connected path like that, so you start at a vertex and can go round and you get back to where you start, this is what's referred to as a cycle. Now it doesn't need to be in a triangle like that. We could have it, if I join those two together, I have now created a cycle here. So a tree must not have a cycle. So no cycles allowed, essentially. Okay, so we cannot have a cycle. And that is something that we're going to need to look out for when we move on to Prim's and Kruskal's algorithms that are looking for minimum spanning trees.